good boy. He's really using himself. I'm very pleased that I've gone up here. And he's keeping his head nicely down, not up like a giraffe, so that's good. You hear the cockerels, can't you, in the background there? <laughs> Good boy. Yes, that's not normally there, is it? No, <laughs> he's a good lad. He was thinking, oh, I don't know, I don't know about going over those bits of carpet <laughs> or sack or whatever it was. Going to keep him on the tarmac today. I normally always go on the grass, don't I, with to save his uh, bare feet. But um, if I get on that grass, he'll probably want to canter on, as we always do. So um, I don't want to do too much cantering as much as I want to. But no, I'm not going to. Uh, we'll save ourselves for a little bit of a gallop up Heart Attack Hill, and I'll take him up halfway before we we uh, before I allow him to to gallop. So there's no might say I'm going to canter up Heart Attack Hill because he's very strong and he's just not going to canter because that's his galloping spot anyway. I'll keep in the middle because there's a bit of grass in the middle. It's a good boy. Okay, let's have your head down. I think we can trust you. Good boy. Good boy. Doing very well with his head down. Very pleased with that. Yes, that was a little stone. He kicked and made a splash, and he thought, "Oh, <laughs> so funny." No, because he's seen that branch, so he thought, I'll go on that grass to avoid it. And then, of course, as soon as he hit the grass, he thought, oh, <laughs> I'll just trot on. But we're not trotting on, no. Oops, somebody's been long here, I can see the hoof prints. Oh, just felt him quickening up then. And then, of course, yes, he's thinking, I'm going. And I'm, you know, you're not going. No, let's get on the road then. No, stop throwing your red about. I see his head and you can hear his little feet going tick tock, can't you, at the back there. So doing little short steps instead of his normal stride. Oh. 
see by the way he's throwing his head he's wanting to be going. He's not pulling me, but he's just letting me know that, come on, let's go. But I'm not going to go until we get halfway, because then he doesn't have too long a gallop. Because we're not going to kid ourselves and think we'll do a steady away canter, because he won't. <laughs> Just get past this rock and then I think that's about, well, it might be three quarters of the way up actually. But I know as soon as I put him on that grass he's going to go. So just wait until we get sort of level with that, yes. Dropped, dropped quite a bit of rain there, but we came back, didn't we? We didn't have to fight too badly to get you back. That's because he knows, of course, that that is um, where we, we stop. So it's ingrained in him to a certain extent that he's going to have to stop at the top. And he's not jig jogging, so that's good. He's remembering that. Yes, I'm very pleased, you see. He's not jig-jogging. Yes, good boy. Took me a long time to train him not to jig-jog. And sometimes we do have a little... have to remind him a little bit sometimes, but... I'm very pleased that after all this time he's remembered that and he's, he's wanting to be off, as you saw up that... Uh, up that hill. I didn't, I didn't even get into the grass and he was taking off, so... I think this is really very good because I don't like jig jogging. I don't think it does them any good either because they do a lot of little steps instead of one nice long easy stride. So I think it um, puts more stress on the the bones and the tendons and all that. That's just my opinion. Each to their own, of course. Yes, now wait, 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 wait. I've got to get this gate open. Steady, steady. Because that's a bit difficult, that gate. And um, yeah, with it, because there's a, there's a jump to the side, you know, a nice inviting jump. And I have had in my distant past a horse that was a very good jumper and we used to do a lot of jumping, especially cross country. And I turned him round to close the gate and he jumped over the hunt jump at the side from a standstill, caught his leg. I went out the side door and was concussed. And um, it, I, it, I, I wasn't unconscious but everything had gone black and it took it took a few minutes for my vision to to come back to normal to be white because you know light because it was just like I was at, it was just like I've been in the dark night time so that was a bit of a worry and uh, just luckily my horse didn't I mean Farouk he just shot off but um, this um, cob he, he just walked along on his own uh, having the blade of grass and walking on another blade of grass so I was able to <laughs> I was able to catch him but you know it could I could have been, I could have been in the middle of nowhere for ages if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon we love reading the comments we love emojis and we'd love a thumbs up we have over 2,000 videos. If you would like to look at some more, all you need to do is click on the Apollo icon, which will take you to our home page. And then you can select videos or playlists. Thanks for watching. TTFN.